Welcome to the Pegasus Communication Solutions Customer Portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about ring groups. From the home page, go to the Services tab along the top of your screen. Then in the menu here along the left side, you'll see where it says Groups. Now, a ring group is when you have a, a, a group of uh, more than one extension that rings with the same call. You can uh, start a new ring group or edit if you have any existing ones. I'm going to start a new ring group. And here the first thing you would do is give it a name. So I'll just call this one a new one. Um, you have the option here to ring all extensions at the same time. So they all ring when the call comes in. Or you can choose sequentially, which will then do a round robin where one extension will ring. If it's not picked up, then it will go to the next one and the next one. Um, seconds to ring here is set to 20. Um, one ring is five seconds, so this would be four rings. Now, that's how long, if you did sequentially, it would ring four times on one extension, then go to the next one for four rings, and the next one. Caller ID settings, you can have the original caller ID, custom text, or custom text with the original caller ID, and then you would enter your custom text here. So that would show on the caller ID of the, the phone that's ringing that this was a call that came from a group. So if I put new there, then all of the, uh, the calls that were routed would show new as a prefix before their caller ID. And you choose the extensions that you want to be in the group. You'll have all your available extensions over here. So you choose Oops, 1005 and 1006. Um, you can move them up or down, which matters if you're ringing them sequentially. That lets you decide what order they're going to ring in. And then you have after ringing group forward call. So this is if the group, um, if the call is routed to the group and it rings and it's not answered by any extension, then what happens? So you can, of course, have it go to voicemail, select a mailbox. You could have it then um, go to another extension or just directly to one extension rather than the group. You could have it um, go to an outside number and then enter in a cell phone number or whatever you would like there. So those are the basics of setting up a ring group. And then if you added the group, let me change this back to mailbox. Alright, add group. And that's how to add a ring group. Now that you have created a ring group, to start using it, you will need to route to it. So let's go under phone numbers. Um, pick a phone number to edit here. Pick this one. Currently, this phone number routes to an extension. I can change that to a group and new. And now this phone number would ring that group of extensions that I just added. And it would be sequentially based on the settings that I put there. And then that would be also, we could leave it at route to extension. Save. And under the extension level. Also, 
you can choose to route it to a group. You say you could route it to if not answered. So the if a call came into your extension and you didn't answer, rather than going directly to voicemail, then it would go to the group and there would be it would ring sequentially and there would be a chance for someone else to catch that call. Uh, I would say that most commonly we uh, ring groups we use them from the phone number level as a routing option. So I hope that pretty much covers how to set up a ring group and uh, how to use it. Um, as with anything else, leave me a comment if you need further explanation on anything that I've shown you here.